Hi Aquarius, welcome to Scorched Earth. This is going to be your mid-month reading for January for Sun, Moon and Ascendant Aquarians. Um, <clears throat> take what resonates, leave the rest. This may or may not be a continuation of the story in the monthly readings. It could be an entirely different group of Aquarians altogether. So, you know, practice your own discernment. And decide whether or not it applies to you. So, could I have three cards for Aquarius, please? Three cards for Aquarius for the last two weeks of January. Oh, there's your first one. Six of Swords. Okie dok. Two more cards for Aquarius, please. There they are. We've got the Sun. <clears throat> And the King of Pentacles. Wow. What have you got planned, Aquarius? This is awesome. So, where you are right now. Six of Swords, the Sun, and the King of Pentacles. That's a delightful set of cards right there. Right? <clears throat> the Six of Swords is about leaving something behind. Right? It's leaving situations, people, places, anything behind. That's been causing you issue, right? The, the water is usually choppy on this side and it's calmer off over here. And, and the idea is you, you, you're moving off into calmer waters. Whatever's been stressing you out, whatever's been difficult, you're moving away from it now. <clears throat> and what are you moving towards? The sun and the king of pentacles. <laughs> so this is the card of Leo, and this could be an earth sign, you know, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Take it as it resonates to you. It doesn't have to be man either, because Tarot doesn't care about gender. So, as an energy, the sun is the most positive card in the deck, right? It's the card of Leo because it's about Leos have an affinity with children, right? They're in touch with their inner child. <clears throat> if they're sufficiently evolved, at least anyway, dealt with all their issues and all that kind of thing. You know, Leos are all about play. They're about innocent joy. And that's what we're talking about with this card here, right? It's you're sailing out of troubled waters and straight towards the sun, straight towards situations where it feels easy, you know, where there are no stresses, there are no worries, all that kind of thing. You know, the future is bright. That's how that feels. That's what I heard there. And the King of Pentacles. <clears throat> now, as an energy, that is somebody who is on top of their, their material situation, right? So we could be talking about the possibility of a pay rise, a new job, a new home. You know, anything that's governed by the Pentacles suit as resources. <clears throat> would come under the auspices of these. But it's not like... It's not like one of these things that just falls into your lap. Because it's the king, I feel like this is something that you've been working towards for quite a long time, right? Because you've, you've, you've had to run through a progression to get there. But it looks like it's coming, whatever you've been working towards, you know, and... and it's, It's all very sunny up ahead. You know, there's material comfort. So maybe, maybe you're moving to a new area where the house is slightly cheaper and you, you know, you're freeing up some cash. Maybe you've got a promotion that you've been working for for a while. Maybe you've paid off all your debts, something like that, you know, but whatever it is, there's prosperity and abundance just ahead. So what's coming towards Aquarius for the month of January, please? What's coming towards Aquarius for the last two weeks of January? Interesting. I'll just get one more. Priestess, the Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. Right. The priestess is the, the High Priestess in the Standard Deck, right? And she talks about things that are hidden. She talks about secrets. 
all that sort of thing, right? She talks about lots of things, but that's the bit that's relevant here. The Nine of Cups is the wish fulfillment card, you know? That's, that's the things that you've always wanted right there. And then the Ten of Pentacles, which is material success. I mean, combined with the King of Pentacles, that is absolutely incredible. I mean, maybe maybe you've started a new business and it's really taking off, or maybe it's one of the other situations. You take it as applies to you. This is a general reading and I am speaking in general terms. So, <clears throat> But I think these two cards need to be read together. In fact, all three of them, they, they really do need to be read together rather than individually. Because I think that whatever it is that comprises uh, the, your wish fulfillment has actually been a secret. I think it's something that you haven't really spoken to people about. But it's been inside you and it's been burning away for a little while. It looks like in the last couple of weeks of January, or it could reach into February. I mean, time is fluid, right? particularly when you come to spirit and cards and... All that sort of thing. <clears throat> it may come around quicker, it may take a little longer. But material, complete material success and wish fulfillment, your secret burning desires, are coming in. <clears throat> and I have to pull more cards for that because I can't not pull more cards for that, that's too exciting. cards for the priestess. Apparently it's too secret. What about the Nine of Cups? There's the Nine of Cups here. Queen of Wands. Hanged Man. is really interesting. So the cards that I've pulled for the Nine of Cups, just to get some more information, is the Queen of Wands, the Hanged Man, and the Eight of Wands. Now, this is really interesting because both the High Priestess and the Hanged Man are like they're the two most passive cards in the Major Arcana, right? They talk about being static, they talk about no movement whatsoever, right? But what they're actually talking about is these things coming to you, right? You don't have to go off and find these things. This Queen of Wands energy is bringing it to you, whoever this may be. Now, if this is somebody that you know, this could be an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be the Sun sign. It could be in their birth chart somewhere, like usually like Moon and Ascendant, you know, like kind of the, the major ones. But if it's not, it's an energy coming in, then this is somebody who knows what they want and they're bringing something to you. Take it as it resonates, but it's coming in fast, right? And you need to do nothing. You, you don't have to do anything at all because it's coming to you. You just pick a spot, get comfy and wait because it's coming in. And it's everything that you ever wanted. Good Lord. <coughs> what a day to be an Aquarian. I'm going to get some advice for you, but it's, it's the Emperor and the uh, Star there, that's your card, the Star. <clears throat> I'm going to get some advice, but it seems very much like you don't have to do anything. I'll see where we go with this, right? I have some words of advice for Aquarius, please. One. Three of Wands. It's another card of waiting. Right? This dude's done all of the hard work. He's done all the legwork. Now he's waiting. Right? He's sending his ships off and he's waiting for them to come back. What did it say about the King of Pentacles? Like you've put in the work for whatever this is. You've done all of the groundwork. Now you sit. Now you wait for your ships to come in. Right? Let's see if it wants to give me any more. It wanted me to turn that card over before I said anything else. <clears throat> 
any more words of advice. <laughs> okay, so but the Queen of Wands again and the Tower. Like whatever this is, it's going to be a bit of a shock actually, because although you put all the groundwork in and you've done all the things, I think that that the order of magnitude by which this is coming back into you is actually going to shock the shit out of you. Like. This is what I was saying before, like uh, your secret burning desire that you dare not, you know, actually utter aloud, burning away inside of you. It's coming back on that sort of level, you know, this is, it's not like it's coming in piecemeal, you know, little bits, kind of looking somewhere close to something that you might like at some point, you know, no, this is everything nine of cups ten of pentacles this is everything all together that you always wanted and this queen of wands character i don't know who she is but she is very helpful could be a he remember <clears throat> of all the queens she is the the one who moves actually and she seems to be she seems to be bringing this in for you but in you know, the tower it's going to be a shock Whoop! <laughs> High Priestess again, right there. Just jumped out at me as I picked the deck up. So, I'm going to just get a clarification for this tower because I really hate leaving things on a tower because it's, it's frightening. Four of Wands. That's, that's the celebration card, right? That can be marriages, that can be, you know, celebration parties of any sort of description. It's those people that feel like home to you, but it is having cause for celebration. It's coming. It's going to be big. It's going to be really big. Right, I'm going to leave it there. As ever, if it resonated, I'd love it if you, you know, like the video and leave a comment or whatever, or don't, it's up to you. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love it if you did. And um, <clears throat> I would say best of luck, but literally all you have to do is sit and wait, and it's coming. So I'm not even going to bother. I'll see you in February.